What's up, everyone, and welcome to an all-new microtransaction reaction. Oh, yes, Chris, you know what that means. Wake up and smell the transaction. All right, I'm your host, Liquid, here. Uh, joining me today, I've got Chris. Chris, are you excited for Metroid Dread? We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, a commercial release I would say a few days ago here um, and yeah we haven't seen it yet so we're gonna go ahead and get into it just give our thoughts it's it's short you know but why not you know right now all right you know I have a switch yeah it's over there right maybe I want to buy maybe Metroid Dread is a thing I have a flight maybe that's somehow gonna be better than Pokemon uh, Shield yeah who knows we don't know we won't know but, yeah. who wouldn't <laughs> how would you know yeah, how would anyone know uh but yeah just in time for the uh switch oled that's uh i think it's still coming out it's not it's not out yet right or was it reports of people oh, getting it? Yeah. It, com it comes out with this game yeah that's what I thought this game comes like on the eighth, eighth? On the eighth? The, yeah this friday if i'm not mistaken oh yeah um, so yeah so this friday october 8th well anyways we've delayed long enough let's go ahead and get right into this uh commercial or trailer whatever you want to call it this video <laughs> let's go oh Not in tabletop mode. Using the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Suspenseful. Wow. The best way to escape an impending threat. Ooh. Become the bigger threat. Suit up as Samus. To escape a oh. treacherous new planet. Oh. And find the power you need. To take on her deadliest enemy yet. Do you have what it takes to be the bigger threat? Metroid Dread, rated T for Teen, only on Nintendo Switch. All right, there you have it. That's Metroid Dread coming out this Friday. Chris, what did you see? What's got you excited, or what has you hating on this? Okay, the thing is, first of all, this is the most out of any trailer I've seen for Metroid, that is the most exciting one I've seen. Oh, that's good. That's nice to hear. Um, but game just looks so lame. Yeah, it's a little lacking there. I do love the whole stealth, like you saw her like in the shadows and stuff like that. While this mm -hmm. this little creature thing that he's called Emmy or something was a uh, scanning her, and I'm sure that means something. But yeah, it was like scanning for her. But I thought that looked kind of cool. I did like. Just the commercial in general, you got the the girl playing the game, you know, saying that she turns into Samus herself. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of like nineties. Like nineties commercials, mm -hmm. like for you know what I'm saying? Like and I think um Yeah. And it was like, you know, you got him crawling in the back of the, the the creature robot monster thing, um, crawling in the back, and then like, you know, it's kinda spooky. So I guess it's fitting for October, right? Yeah, happy Halloween, guys. Yeah, happy Halloween. You know, so they get a little spooky with it. So, Chris, what what part of it has you? What like you said this has gotten you a little more excited, but is it doing you anything? Know, like, yeah, yeah, like it was cool. You get to see some of the gameplay and move. Like, you get to see the game in like motion more. I feel like everything we like we've seen is like this this four legged monster thing, robot thing chasing you. Right. And the thing is, like, yeah, it's chasing you, but it just like I think the art design looks lame. Like I, I, it just feels very um, ah, what's like generic early two thousand when they think of futuristic robot and it has like the sleek bulbous look, and I, you know what I mean. Right. I, I just like to me, I want, I, I feel like I want to be more excited about this game. The game is letting me be, and then there was a weird eyeball thing. It's touching. It's like oh hey alien thingy, and it's just. I don't know. Is this like the general consensus for Metroid? Is this just Metroid's art style? Because I never dwelled into this game so much. I don't think I've ever played a full Metroid game. I gotcha. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know this, so this game is being made by uh, Mercury Steam, okay? And Mercury Steam actually made the 3DS version Samus Returns. And it was very similar to this. Like, the art style also looked very basic, but then again, it was a remake for a Game Boy game. It was Metro essentially it was Metroid 2 Samus Returns, which came out on Game Boy. And I'm talking about old school Game Boy, not Game Boy Advance. We're talking about original Game Boy. So, oh. Yeah, so they try to keep the artwork, like that style, kind of like very basic. And it was cool, though. I thought it was awesome. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like they're kind of doing the same thing. Sure, they're adding a little more color, which makes it pop a little bit. But I can see what you're saying as far as the art style. It is kind of like generic, like you said. 
Um, man, and yeah, I wish I could say more about the gameplay because I wish there was more to like see more, or just to see what stands out. You know, like I know we get we we know we kind of expect Samus to sort of play a certain way, but I don't think it hurts to start adding new stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to see some new things. Uh, but I guess only time will tell. We'll have to find out because they're they're not showing it. So who knows what's gonna happen? Dude, I I think this. I, I'm just gonna say. Uh, I think it's going to review well, okay. but I think in like six months time, it, it will not be kind to this game. I think this game is going to like, I think that people are going to play it and like, wait a minute, the Metroid spell broke and it sucks. Okay. So final question here, because we gave our thoughts. Mm-hmm. Do you think this has what it takes to become game of the year? Done? Are you done? Are we all having fun? Are we all having fun here? What it depends what year? If you mean uh, eighty two fifty five, then totally. If you mean this year, yeah, this year. Bah. I mean, well, think about it. We're we're not. This is not the greatest year for gaming. We know this for for a fact. There's no way in shape or like where this is even a contender. Really, you're forgetting like even the worst things. We're having Halo in pieces, and mm-hmm. it's gonna help play. It's gonna be way better than this. We have the we have games that Death's Door came out this year, yeah, Liquid. That's a game of your contender. This you think this is gonna be the same conversation? No, it Metroid is supposed to elicit a thing where it's supposed to make us feel like oh, it's Metroid. Like that means something, and I don't think that means nothing to anyone anymore. Okay. I got you. Fair enough. Yeah. I I still think it'll make game of the year contention. I don't think it'll come close to anything. Oh, crazy. Yeah, I think it'll be part of the conversation. Just yeah. just for the lack of stuff that's even out right now. Like or even or even coming out this year. There's a lack of games that are coming out this year. I think because there's so little games, you're gonna see it as being part of a just a just in the conversation. Now, is it gonna is it gonna get past you know round one or whatever? Absolutely, I don't think so. But I think it'll be in there by default. I think it just it just will. Yeah, well, I think similar I'd be, to, I'd, I'd be shocked oh. Shocked well we'll, well we'll see We'll come back to this But yeah That's been uh, our reaction To this uh, Metroid trailer For Metroid Dread uh, Chris obviously doesn't seem Too excited for it I, I I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot We'll see what happens I might wait on it Just because You know You got Far Cry 6 coming The Battlefield beta Is coming out this weekend So I'm kinda excited for that So that's gonna kinda have My attention for right now but um, but yeah, we'll 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 we'll, go, we'll come back to it. We'll 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 give some thoughts about it as well. Anyways, thank you all so much. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Did if you didn't like it, then dislike it. Let me know why. Uh, and mm-hmm. then we'll we'll go over all that rigmarole in the future. Other than that, though, I'm, Chris, do you have anything else to say before we go? I have to say, I'm like, if someone dislikes this video, I think I know why. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyways, as per usual, love each other, take care, and above all else, be cool. We'll see you next time on the next reaction.